Hi guys, welcome to my channel. First of all, Happy New Year 2022. Let's just hope it's better than 2020 and 2021. Um, so today, as you can tell, we are going to be going through my beauty favourites of 2021. Um, they're not necessarily products that have only come out last year. It will be a bit of both. Um, so there'll be new products, products that I literally was so obsessed with last year. Um, so yeah, let's do it. There's a lot here, so we're going to be snappy. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. Mwah. So we are going to go in categories. So the first category is going to be skincare. This is probably a late one that I like loved in 2021 but this is the Kiehl's um, Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. Oh my, oh my goodness me, it is now one of my favourite cleansers. It is amazing for all skin types, super hydrating but not oily, not thick. It takes off your makeup beautifully, your skin it doesn't feel tight. Um, so yeah, that is one of my favourite cleansers from 2021. Um, toners. This is the Elizal Skin Boosting Tonic. I cannot live without this toner. I feel lost if I've just finished it and I need to buy another one but can't get to it straight away. It is such a beautiful toner. Um, it's really soothing, nourishing, cooling, amazing for sensitive skin. It doesn't irritate my skin. I can use it on my eyes and my eyes don't get irritated. I just have to have that and also I have to have it in my kit because I just love it so much. I've used it for years, cannot live without it. What next? Let's go for eye creams. I have three. Yes, bougie, I know. I have three. Um, so this is one that I have not stopped using since... Um, I got back from Dubai. This is the Sunday Riley Autocorrect Brightening and Depuffing Eye Contour Cream. She is on the pricey side, but hear me out. My dark circles, I swear, have got so much better since I've been using this. I only use this at night time. So this is my nighttime cream. I just love it. It's so hydrating. You only the tiniest bit. So even though she is pricey, she will last you a long time especially if you're using her at night and then my two ride or die eye creams for day are the CeraVe eye repair and the Inky caffeine eye cream so the Inky one this is great for depuffing I love to use this if I haven't slept well or if I'm up early and I feel like my eyes just need to get with it quickly this is insane and it is so cheap and then I've been using this for years. This is the only eye cream that will sort my eyes out. So I have very sensitive eyes. Um, they get very dry very quickly. And this is the only eye cream that I know will save them. And it's only like 12 pounds, I think. So that's very good. If you have sensitive eyes, then I would definitely recommend that one. Um, it's just full of hyaluronic acid. I love it. I will never not have a stock up of that eye cream. And then we have oil this is more of a makeup oil but i do love to use it like when i have super duper dry skin or mix it with foundations or concealers and it's always one that i have in my kit this is the danessa myricks beauty oil um it's so hydrating but it's a dry oil so you don't feel greasy you don't look greasy it's not one of those where your makeup will just slide off afterwards it is beautiful so as you can see she is nearly run out. I have another one, um, but it's just one item that I cannot live without for me and for my kit. Very good. Very, 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 very good. Very good. Okay. Um, masks. I'm kind of a bit like, I don't have a favourite mask that I use consistently, but this is the Wishful Enzyme Glow Scrub. So it's kind of like a mask because it, you know, it does something straight away. Um, but I recommend that to all of my brides, okay? So if you have dull, dry, textured skin, that is for you. I love to use it when I feel like my face just needs a really, really good clean, a good cleanse. Your skin afterwards, you're left with the most beautiful glow. Your skin is so soft, I cannot tell you. Um, it's just like literally like a mini facial at home, but it's not a, a harsh scrub, it is a peel. So when you put it on your skin, you literally see your skin removing itself. It's not harsh, great for sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin. 
that will be my second tube and all my brides that I recommend it to love it as well so yes we love her she comes in a small small tube is 18 which is this size uh yeah and then there's also a big size for 36 but the small will last you a good six months or so you don't have to buy the big one if you don't want to and then we're going to move on to SPFs this has become a new love of mine. This is the Bondi Sands SPF Daily Moisturising 50 Plus. It does literally feel like a moisturiser. No white cast, not like greasy, not thick. It just melts into the skin beautifully, sits under makeup so nice. I have it on today. It literally just feels like a moisturiser, but it has lots of benefits in there and obviously protects you from the sun. Um, I love it so much and also I don't have it with me it is the La Roche Prose, Prose? the La Roche Pose and Thelios SPF both cheap both lovely the S um the La Roche Pose I'll just say is slightly thinner it's more liquidy whereas that has a moisturizing consistency we have two items left of skincare I believe yes we do this bad boy gone through four of these it is the u-tan with jamie genevieve face tanning mist uh hands down the best face tan i've ever used has cannabis oil in there and lavender so it's really good for soothing the skin um calming redness that's been proven and it is now um recommended by dermatologists it has got accepted so it's just great it comes in original shade and shade darker i personally prefer the original shade um but my mum loves the 50 percent darker you just wake up with the most beautiful glow it's really easy to use i use it about three times a week at night time after i finish my skincare routine just spray it on all over and you'll wake up in the morning looking like a bronze goddess love it obviously it's jamie genevieve so i like anything to do with her anyway <laughs> Um, and then the last of the skincare sort of genre is the NYK1 Lash Force Grow Serum. <gasps> I cannot rave about this product enough. My eyelashes have grown so much since I've been using it. I was a bit skeptical at first because, like, I only love uh, Revitalash. She's like, you know, the one for me, but that is half the price but you do have to be very patient with it. It takes a good um, six to eight weeks to notice a difference and you have to use it day and night, but you will not regret it, okay? I love it so much. I have a code, which I'll pop here, gets 10% off. Um, yeah, I love it. I will not, not use that eyelash serum now. I'm trying to be quite speedy with this, so if you have any questions, then just message me on Instagram or comment um, down below and we can go through a few things. But my my camera only has two lines of battery left because I filmed three videos today. So I'm trying to be quite speedy and I've got a lot of products here, so we're just gonna try and get through them quickly because you know I like to bamble. On to makeup base products. Uh, this has just gone super viral this year but i've loved it for as long as i can remember it is the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter it is just so beautiful you can kind of use it as like a tinted foundation but it's more of a primer it blurs your skin you just feel like you have a really healthy glow um i don't know anyone that doesn't love that and i don't know anyone that doesn't know what it is so Moving on to another primer. This is the Vive Skin Nova. Um, it is basically an instant radiant primer, but it has skincare in there as well. So it's like a skincare makeup hybrid. Um, I always use this under makeup now. I just love it. So hydrating, so smoothing. It leaves you with the most beautiful glow. Um, and it does leave you with like a nice tack on the skin as well. So it's good for like underneath makeup. Highly recommend. And then we've got tinted moisturizers. Um, so these are my two favorites. Sculpted by Amy, Tint and Glow. I've gone through two of these. Insane. If you love glowy, dewy skin, light to medium coverage, this one is the best that I've ever used. My shade is four, and when I'm a bit more tanned, I used five. Um, seriously love that, it's so good. And then I've gone through two of these as well. This is the Trini London BFF Serum. Um, I have the shade Binky. It is very light coverage. It's basically your skin, but better. So super light coverage, 
skin like finish like a satiny not super duper glowy um very lightweight love it so good just really nice to chuck on and you're good to go and that is the tinted moisturizers we are now going to move on to foundations i don't wear foundation a lot apart from the gram from going out out so these are ones that i do grab for in my kit but also if i am wanting a foundation that I like. So my glowy ones, we've got the Shiseido Radiant Lifting Foundation. Wow, Zaruni. I have the shade 310 Silk. I have it on right now, medium to full coverage, but you can sheer it down if you want to. Um, and then we've got the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. I have the shade, that is not my shade. No, Valoris. Valoris is my shade. Um, that's just one I picked out for my kit. Um, I would say that the NARS is slightly thicker than the Shiseido, but they are pretty much the same, really, like within finish, very glowy. For my oily girls, ones that like full coverage matte, Maybelline Superstay. This is the Superstay 24 Hour. This is one that I'm obsessed with, but they've discontinued it. I hate it when brands do that. So good, makes your skin look flawless, um, but it is very full coverage. And then this is the new version of it. This is the Maybelline Superstay 30 Hour. The only thing that I've noticed a difference is it's not as easy to blend, but I'd say the finish is sort of the same. So let's move on to concealers. This was really hard for me because I bloody love concealers. Um, I've narrowed it down to three, okay? So my... Two favourites that I reached for the most for me, Sculpted by Amy Brighten Up Concealer. This is what I'd say is my favourite everyday natural concealer. does have good coverage, but it's very skin-like, very creamy, very lightweight. And then we've got the Rare Beauty Concealer. Sorry for my UK gang. You can get this in the UK, but it's like an extra 15 or £20, pounds, something daft. Um, but I love this. I bought it in Dubai and I've not stopped using it. You don't have to set it. I love the finish. I love the coverage. I just, that's just my chef's kiss. Love that. For my kit, I just think because it's so versatile, that's why I picked this one. I have it in 10 shades. It is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I've gone through a good two, three pots in about four shades. Um, the shades that I like to use the most are custard, vanilla, um... Damn it, I can't remember the other shade. There's three shades that I like to use, but yeah, this is amazing for covering acne, scarring, amazing coverage. Um, really good if you are oily, but I love to mix it with the um, Danessa Myricks Beauty Oil to make it more of a creamy, lightweight concealer. I just love it. It's so versatile. It looks flawless on the skin. Yes, I'm trying to do this in order, y'all. So we're now going to move on to bronzers. Um, again, really hard for me because I just love a bronze look. Kit-wise, Makeup by Mario Contour Sticks. I have these in four shades. Um, they're just really easy, really quick. I have the shade Light Media, Medium Dark, Medium Deep. I don't know, I have four shades. Um, I mean, the only thing I don't use is the brush because it's just a pain um, to use when you're like in a rush. But I just love to get a brush. Put it, pop it on there and then just, you know, pop it in your normal bronzing spots. These just blend into the skin so nicely. Really good shade range. Love anything from Makeup by Mario anyway. So yeah, they are a definite staple for me and for my kit. Another cream bronzer that I love. I just love how this looks on the skin. This is the Refi cream bronzer in the shade Sand. <clears throat> it literally looks like your skin when you've had a tan, blends in beautifully. Yeah, can't say anything bad about that, really. One last of my cream bronzers, this, you would have seen me use this a few times on my Instagram. It is the Nude Sticks Multitasking Balm. You can use it on eyes, bronzer. This is the shade Bondi Beach. I'm literally about to run out. That's quite sad, actually. But I literally <laughs> just draw it on and then blend it into the skin. Beautiful, it's like a nice satin finish and it's just really easy to use. I do recommend them for beginners because like I said, you can just draw it on, bends out, you've got a lot of playing time. It's not like you draw it on and then it's stuck. So I really like that for that. And then powder bronzer, uh, I think you already know, the Vive Modern Bronzer. This is the shade uh, Medium. I just love that you've got two different shades in there. Um, 
and the packaging, oh, it's just gorge. That's one that I always have in my kit. I just love it. Love the formula, blends in really nicely. Yes, that is the Blunters. Blusher, now let me tell you, <laughs> this was extremely hard, like extremely hard. I have, I'm not joking, I have um, 50 bronzers, 50. 50 bronzers so I narrowed it down to three and this is just literally what I cannot stop using what's in my kit that I know works it was very hard so the one that I haven't stopped using I've gone through this is my second one it is the refi cream blush in the shade Malaya beautiful it looks insane on everyone um i know it's only small but they do last a long time so i've had mine since um i want to say april or may and i've just started this one about a week ago so and i use it on pretty much all of my clients it's just such a beautiful shade very skin like and it just oh you're gonna focus darling there you go yeah just a gorgeous shade love it and then powder blushes, again, these are just ones that I've fallen in love with. They look awful, I'm so sorry. It is the Vive Sunset Blushes, um, shade Pesca and shade Cherub. They're just beautiful. They look just stunning on the skin. Nice buildable blushes. They're like a little tiny bit of a glow to them, but not like shimmery or glittery. They are just my favourite powder blushes. And I also do really like the Patrick Tarr. Mm -hmm. the Patrick Tarr blush palette but I feel like the shades in there aren't what I use every single day so that's why that's not in here yeah so that is pretty much the face so we're now going to move on to eyebrows I think you all know what I'm going to choose to be honest the one of them is with the Refi brow sculpting gel cannot live without this um I use it on my clients and they're all like, what the hell have you used on my brows? And I'm like, this bad boy. Um, I just love it. I've gone through five. I've gone through five. Um, I use it so much. It is just one of those that's really good for just like bushy brows. Um, yeah, love it. And then this has only been something for me that I've just not stopped using for the last month or so. Um, it got sent to me from Brow Code. Wow. I'm obsessed. It is the Brow Heist Soap and the Pencil. My brows have never looked so good. I'm sorry if you don't agree, if you don't like laminated brows, blah, 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 blah. But um, I just, it holds all day, really easy to use. Um, the brow pencil is beautiful. The only thing that I will say is that because the soap's quite hard, it does ruin your brow spoolies. So I just bought like a few disposable ones to use for that. but. Apart from that, I have nothing bad to say about it. I love it. It's insane. Um, so thank you, Brow Code, for bringing that into my life because, yeah, it's amazing. Love it. Okay, what should we go for now? Mascaras? We're going to go for mascaras. We've got three. This one went viral in 2021, I think, and I can see why. It is the Maybelline Sky High. I love all Maybelline mascaras. Um... It makes your lashes look so much longer than they are, holds the curl really well, um, and it's cheap. So we love her. And then this one, oh my God, Primark. I think it's like three or four pounds. This mascara is amazing if you love dramatic lashes. Um, it just coats them really well. And yeah, I have nothing bad to say about the mascara. And then a bit more on the expensive side, this was in my advent calendar from Cold Beauty. It is the Swede Pro Lash Lift Mascara. The wand is just a bit of me. I love wands like this. Like the smaller the better. Um, super duper tiny, you can't even really see it, I don't think, on camera. It is just, oh my God, it makes your lashes look so good. I love it. When I run out, I will buy another because it's so good. Okay, eyeballs. We're going to go on to eyeballs. This is stuff that I just grab constantly. Um, I, there's a lot of palettes that I've loved in 2021, but this is just stuff that I know I like. So, yeah. First, we've got the Vive Eye Ones. These are the matte ones, not the shimmers, because um, these are just more of an everyday. Um, I love the shade 
camel, hazelnut, and um, I can't remember if it's sand or vanilla that I use. Excuse me, but these are just like like the perfect bronzy shades. Let me show you. That's what I have on my eyes right now, actually. They're just amazing, like for quickness. You just literally chuck them on the eyes and then just blend them out with a brush, and that is it. You're good to go. Um, and then I've got I've got all shades, but these are the two that I grab for most. And then, like I said, I think I think it's sand that I put on my eyes as a base because it's like similar colour to my skin tone. Um, yeah, I just love them. I think every makeup artist should have them in their kit. I do. Eyeshadow. This palette, wow, she's been through some stuff, okay? But this is just, I have to take it everywhere with me. I just love it. It is the Makeup by Mario Master Matte's palette. Yeah, she's not looking great. I think I'll have to buy another one. But um, as you can see, like, it has just so many lovely brown shades in there. Perfect for bridal. Perfect for your bronzy eye. Um, they blend out amazingly. The pigment is, just love it. So we're now going to move on to lips. Okay, this again was quite hard because on a day to day, I don't really do much to my lips. I just pop a bit of lip balm on and we're good to go. Um, but making me choose my favourite lip liner or lip liners has to be the Morphe. The formula, the price, so good. I, I have backups because I just love them so much and I'm very sad when I run out. Um, so my favourite shades are Sweet Tea, which is what I've got on my nail, which is like a really nice brown, and Backseat Love, which is just a, like a nice rosy pink shade, so perfect for bridal. Um, obviously the Charlotte Tilbury liners are amazing, but they're more on the expensive side. Love the Vive lip liners, but I just think for these, for the price, you can go wrong. Um, so yeah, well done Morphe, well done. Uh, lipsticks. I do love her lipsticks. It's the Char Tilbs. Um, this is just my little palette of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Um, as you can see, um, the top row is well loved. I love them. The formula, um, just beautiful. My favourite shades are Penelope Pink, Fitch Perfect, Pillow Talk, obviously, Nude Kate and Hepburn Honey. They're just such nice formula. They're the perfect bridal lipsticks, I think. Um, so I always have that. And then Vive lipsticks, uh, like the packaging, hello. I have the shade Vive and Treasure. What shade is this? This is the shade Treasure. This is what I have on right now with a little bit of Danessa Myrix. So creamy, like uh, even though they're matte, they're just like a nice formula. They're not like drying. Yeah, love them. Love anything from Vive, but we can't, it's a 2021 Vive video, can we? Um, yeah, and then this one, I love this so much. This is the Mina Longwear Lipstick in shade 503. Oh, like, I just love this formula so much. It is so comfortable. Um, can you see that? There we go. So she will dry down matte, but it's so comfortable. Love the shade and it lasts all day. And they like you can have the matching, um, matching lip liner and matching lip gloss. So I got sent them as a set, and I'm so obsessed. I think they're brilliant, brilliant. And then we come into the last two products, guys. I'm pretty impressed. These are what I wear day to day. So we've got <laughs> just a basic bitch vibes, nipple cream. Can't go wrong with it. Perfect for nourishing your lips, especially in the winter, or if you suffer with constant dry, cracked lips, you need to buy nipple cream. As weird as it sounds, it is the only thing that works for me. And then tinted lip bar, and it is the Lano Lips in the shade Perfect Nude. It is the Perfect Nude. Let me swatch through it for you. Very comfortable. It looks perfect, just like no makeup, makeup days. If you want a little something, something, it's just gorge. Look at that. Can you see? Can you see it? There you go. Yeah, she's gorge. Very nourishing, um, not sticky. I just love it. So, yeah, that is my absolute favourites. Oh my god, brushes. I knew I'd forget that. I had someone message me last night and they were like, oh my God, can you please do a favourite of brushes? And I was like, hell yeah, of course I can. And then you forgot it. Okay, 
So this is, excuse me, but this is my um, kit makeup belt. So there are quite a few different ones on there, um, but a lot of them are Spectrum. Spectrum brushes, in my opinion, are one of the best brands for brushes. Not too expensive, they're like in the good, good tier, if you will, but um, the Spectrum with Katie Jane Hughes brushes are everything. Um, that's the majority of them in here, the green ones, these little ones here. Um, I can't live without them. I, I'm pretty sure you can't buy them singularly, so I'm not telling you to buy the whole kit, but if you can, I would recommend it. But I'm pretty sure she does a smaller kit as well. But yeah, this is what I use for, my God, my voice today. This is what I use for bridal. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but a lot of them are Spectrum. We've got a couple of Zoeva brushes. I love Zoeva. Real Techniques, so my favorite foundation brush for clients is the Real Techniques 200. Really nice shape, just perfect for foundation. And that is literally it, they are all Spectrum. Like these ones are Spectrum, it is the Pantherine eye set. Like perfect for beginners, you have every single eye brush in there that you could ever need. Everything in there is Spectrum, pretty much. And then the majority of the KJH brushes. Um, so definitely go have a look at them. They are worth the money and you just, you won't regret it. Oh, okay. So then brushes that I use for moi, also we'll take out a few of the brush belt, but these are ones that I have on my desk. Yes, they need to be cleaned, but there we go. Ones that I love to use on myself are the by Georgina Cosmetic Brushes. These are just stunning, like, the um, design, the component, the so soft. Um, the eye brushes in particular are just incredible. I'm pretty sure you can buy them singularly as well. What else do I have on here? The Refi brush, she is a good egg. We love her. She's really nice for bronzer and blusher. What else have we got? Some more spectrum. Ah! Um, brush works, they do some really nice brushes. Like this one here is my favorite for cream products. I love to use this for cream bronzer. You'll see me use that a lot. Um, Sigma, Sigma do some amazing brushes. Yeah, so basically Spectrum, Real Techniques, Zoeva, Sigma, and by Georgina Cosmetics do my favorite brushes. Morphe do some really good brushes, like really, really cheap, but I just don't feel like they last as long. So yeah, I hope that helps. Like I said at the start, any questions, pop me a message, my DMs are always open and why not always reply ASAP, but just message me. I love to help you guys out. But yeah, that is it. Um, I hope I haven't made this too long. I feel like I've done pretty well, to be fair. Yeah, that is it. That is the end of the favourites video. Um, <clears throat> my God, I hope you enjoyed and I hope your 2022 is filled with everything of happiness and health and just everything that you deserve. But yeah, um, I will see you in my next one and I hope you enjoyed. Mwah.